Okay, I'm getting all my videos out. It's getting dark. So you can barely see me, but um this video is about um the um it's about the confederate flag and you know all these people you know all the topics around it these people these black people are you know, the flags burning flags da, 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 da. me personally i just think it's a waste of time it's really no okay you take the flag down it's just like you know running up to a kkk member back in the day and taking their sheet sheet off their head like okay that's what what's that gonna do you're still gonna get um you're still not doing addressing the issues of uh, behind that of uh, the injustices and, and things like that you they still are in power they still supervisors judges and police officers okay um I, the, the rally the kkk rally that just happened now myself, I went to a KKK rally here in Minnesota. It was at the state capitol. It was some years back, but it was very well organized. They had the KKK up on the stairs, uh, the capitol stairs. They had what looked like Bob, like uh, prison wire fence. I mean, it was very high. You would have to. I mean, it was very high um, on buildings adjacent to it. You had snipers. You had, and you couldn't even see the amount of horsemen at you had to like go around it was like oh you walked it was like wow um you had areas in which uh it, it big signs you either had a police you had a police car blocking off the street you had big signs that said if you are not white do not pass down these streets um and vice versa okay um there was no way for them to intermingle and things like that so to me i just really questioned i mean it was very well organized to put together like Minnesota was not fit to have that. Okay, they had people, they had mounted police, they had uh, police in riot gear, and they weren't. You didn't even see them. Um, they were like a block and a half to two blocks <laughs> away from where people, you know. But they were ready, you know. Um, and um, I don't know what happened. I don't know if they intentionally did this. Uh, maybe it's a you know money issues or budget issues. I'm pretty sure somebody that planned that. Uh, before they gave that license and they knew that they were coming i know it's one of the police officers had to say or sheriff or somebody like look we need to have this 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 I, or did they do that on purpose to see what will happen you know um my thing also is okay you got all these black panthers and this and the other and even biker groups you got all these black biker groups and shit around the fucking country that don't do shit mostly most of them most well i wouldn't say most of them i would say there are you know some that i've there are quite a few that i've seen these little ones and whatever that they don't do shit but um for themselves they go and they go places on their bikes and they cause a ruckus and they basically act like gangs they you know uh have meetings and do's and things and they don't do nothing get around and get drunk get high fight fuck each other you know fuck other members fuck other club members fuck other clubs members um you know they're not really doing nothing serious for the community you may see a little food drive here and there a little giveaway turkeys or uh you know uh some 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 school supplies but it's enough of y'all out here that when we do have them demonstrations and also the panthers like now the y'all coming up okay why where y'all could have served gotten together and and you know mapped out something strategic and just like they had a wall protecting like they had a wall police officers protecting them and at one point i seen on the video it was a white woman she was in the crowd not with any other uh of the people that were rallying and she just started talking smack to the black people and black people was turning around like what you see a police officer stepped over and stepped in front of her so guess who they were def there to defend and protect like they always have been since we were freed and that was why that they that they flooded our communities once we were free is to protect white people and so therefore we should have had black panthers and bikers you know having being walls uh just like they had walls and we had you know like a fence and you know you had crowd control we have our own crowd control to cr uh, control our own people we have a wall of defense where people wouldn't can't pass and you know we had people in the crowd you know making sure you know that uh things um 
you know, weren't said, uh, weeding out people that were in the crowd trying to create a ruckus. What, what, you know, what, 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 where was y'all, you know, where were y'all at? Like, you know, with that, I know some, there were a lot of groups that was there, but where is the, I mean, why wasn't that aspect addressed to the fullest? I mean, like really, really aggressively. And I know that that was something that was sprung and, you know, just happened at the whole rally. And I know there were groups that were there and it was trying. I see, like, I would see like black men like, yo, you know, don't do that. And, you know, things like that. But it should be just like how the police were like, or like in that Malcolm X movie from back in the day, Denzel Washington was in where they just had a wall and it was a wall of black men and wasn't nothing trying to happen. Do that. That's what should be going now. And another thing, as well and i know that you know um as far as b back on these biker groups like you know y'all a lot of y'all making a lot of money and y'all like i said y'all do a few little things here and there in the community then y'all 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 making money doing stuff and then y'all get bigger buildings why you know y'all are having all this money coming through your hands y'all are should do better with it why aren't you guys acquiring real estate, you know, housing, you know, buy a building, you know, uh, buy some land. There's even toll towns that are for sale for like, I think it was a town somewhere in America, like what a, what a mortgage would be, what a, you know, 200, 300, it was, it was, it was nothing, you know, compared to what I thought a town would cost. You know, like a building, start with a building, a, you know, a, a apartment building, a small apartment building, a four unit, six unit, eight unit, you know, and start building. I mean, it just seems like y'all out here just buying shit to feed y'all. Y'all like other gangs now. Y'all just, to me, it's just no different. Y'all are not sticking out. Uh, no, as far as, you know, it's still, you know, you all flip flopping and this now I'm this gang. I'm in this biker club and I'm over here and y'all beefing and y'all want to fight. Y'all want to come to town. I seen some videos where y'all, you know, come to town to be disrespectful because it's a bunch of y'all. So your mouth, your, your women got mouths and you know what I'm saying? I even see that here. Like I, it's a lot of them here. The situations I've been in, or I've seen when I've been at sets and stuff like that, where it's like, and I've seen these same people out. It's like some of y'all talk good, and you know, it's like y'all need to be with other people to. I, I don't know, I don't know, but we, I mean, there, it start has to start somewhere. Okay, obviously. You know, everybody want to be king of the castle and it's hard to get black people to organize. But, I mean, there's some of y'all that are big enough to now to the point where y'all got big warehouses, look like warehouses for clubhouses. But y'all could have, instead of having this old fancy, which brings money and that is a good business venture. Some of y'all own little little jute joints and whatnot and those are good business ventures. But that's the few and far between. It's, you know, it's like here and there. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all got a nice big old clubhouse. Okay, so what about an apartment building? What about a community center buying up land and then building on it? And then that way you can have your own affordable housing. I mean, y'all, y'all, we need to, I mean, what the fuck a turkey gonna do? We celebrating the massacre of Native Americans and shit every motherfucking year. The fuck out of here. I mean, what the fuck all y'all at? Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all not really doing nothing but tearing shit up. And causing more babies and, uh, you know, divorces and diseases and cheating and, you know, and drunkenness and high and robbery and shootings. Y'all are not, y'all, for the most part, are adding to the issue. Y'all are not changing, you know, it's not, y'all not changing anything. Y'all just to be in a clique. To say you're in a clique and... You know, oh my! I got these boys, and if anything happens, and if my, my, you know, I got my boys to ride with me. Why are you even thinking on that mentality against your own brother? Like, why are you even thinking on those means? Like, it should be, yo, let's okay, we together, put our money together, let's do this. I mean, I just, I don't know. That's my little rant. I got all my little videos out. It's dark. I don't work twelve hours a day. I'm finna go in the crib, and you know, start it all over again. So that's my little two cents.